What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off what happened last time, we have fought a number of major battles against the Mughals and we've really gained some momentum. We also took Berlin and that resulted in Austria declaring war on us. So we're pretty much at war with everyone in Europe, except maybe the Ottoman Empire. But where we left off, this force was marching towards us to try and raid our steam engine factory. So we are going to intercept them and destroy them in the glorious field of battle. We've got lots of Gurkhas, which we need to be careful about. Um, but apart from that, I think we're going to be good. So let's take them out. We're doing extraordinarily well in Western India. Uh, the enemy enemy troops are, are uh, collapsing and melting away ahead of us at every turn. So pushing up towards Punjab is likely going to be... A, that's likely going to be where the... Uh, enemy territories start to become a bit more difficult. Okay, so let's make a bit more of a traditional formation. It's a defensive battle, but we don't want to lose too many men too easily. Because there is another stack near us that might might come after us. So let's leave my depleted force behind one of the guns. Let's combine our light and heavy on cover on one flank, our other cover on the other flank, general on the centre, howitzers at off axis positions to try and maximize the pattern of quick climb shells. Okay, we need to set these guys up very well. There we go. So I like anchoring up against a, a cluster of huts like this because if they want to try and flank us they very clearly have to come all the way around, which buys us some time. Okay, they've got mortars. My howitzers can't engage with round shot. One of them, this guy, is going to hit those camel nomads. That's for darn sure. This set of guns hit that unit of Gurkhas. That set of guns hit that unit of General's bodyguard. So keep plinking at them at range. Oh, my microphone just tipped over. Uh, keep plinking at them at range. We've got these camel mercenaries that looks like they might want to try and flank around our line, but constant probing with howitzers will will uh, neuter them somewhat. Let's switch this guy to quick climb and start to hit some of the troops on the flank. You guys drop into quick climb and try and hit that unit of camels. I speed up time to be honest. I'm not overly concerned about these camels. Chiefly because this is where our cavalry is based. We commit our cuirassiers in first. Their cavalry broke pretty easily. You okay, might want to start to. Oh, this is where some of the other Gurkhas are hiding. No, you're doing okay. We do have one howitzer unit out here that can keep engaging. Right now they're hitting the Sikh warriors. Okay, but now this unit starting to get into range. Start to try and hit some of these Gurkhas with quick climb. Good, because they're, yeah, like I said, they're what I'm concerned about. More so than anything. Mm. 
and you're already focusing on a good target with the Seek Warriors, but I might actually switch you over to the Gurkhas and maybe... Okay, they're pushing on all flanks now. Shot these musketeers right in front of you. These bowmen are going to fall fairly readily. Gurkhas are coming in. Gurkhas are also pushing up on the flank. One of our howitzers has for some reason decided to engage way over at the back. You guys fall back. Okay, this unit engaged on the far side. You guys start to hit over onto the left flank. Commit our cavalry into the Gurkhas. There are some Roman camels to be concerned of, concerned about. These Gurkhas are wavering. Hopefully they break. Fortunately they do. You guys drop in the square. These guys focus on the quick line on the infantry right ahead of them. No, you hit left flank. Yeah, my, my guns are always going to get charged it in some fashion here. Might form these guys up to try and hit those guys. Okay, you guys charge into the bowmen. You guys also need to commit to the left flank as well. My cavalry are going to kite some Gurkhas, which is pretty good. And the gun team, they're always going to be unhappy. Okay, you men drop in the square. Go after you instead, aren't they? You aim at that musketeer unit, you aim at that musketeer unit. Okay. Gurk fight on the left flank. These guys are after the bowmen. You guys drop in the square. You guys are also getting on this combat here. Gurkhas are pulling up. I was going to say they're, they're doing a number on my troops, but to be honest, what they've done is they've just managed to upset one of my infantry units and one of my howitzer units. So you guys fall back. Get my cavalry out there and keep hitting them. You may limber up. Don't, don't limber up, but they just. You, know, you guys charge back in. Let's commit my general. Yeah. I think this one's going to be a, a loss. Unless we get some good wins in some of these fights. The Gurkhas are going to cut through my men over here real easy. Let's try and get some friendly fire quick climb shots on them from over here. Try to get my cavalry to go over here and break the bowmen. Okay, the gunners. You hit that unit of levy with, with square. With canister. Not canister. Yeah, canister shot. Oh, cavalry. 
This unit of mercenaries, their job is just to hold up the Gurkhas. These guys charge into the rear here. Okay, you might actually sit here and just shoot into the back of those men. You guys engage the levy. You guys are also going to come over here and just reload and fire into the backs of those camels. Okay, everyone go after the other unit of bowmen. Are you actually... I want you to hit. Gurk is on the left flank. You men form up. Are oh, they going to fire by rank? Hopefully. They are, because there are Gurkhas inside there, which means that all of these camels are going to get hit as secondary effects. Okay, let's start to pull some of my stronger units out of this fight. So no, this is this is a risky move. But I think it's probably worth firing. Firing into the combat and counting on their them having worse morale than me. Which means you guys can now divert my guns can attempt to try and limber up and realign. My general Didio has sadly fallen in combat. He goes back over here, you guys start to hit. You men form. Form a new line. Okay, let's run one of my cav units over there to go try to take out their mortars. I'm assuming these guys don't come back, which can be a bit of a gamble. Oh man, about turn. Oh yes, they've got their guns ready. These guys don't, sadly. You guys remember, you guys go take out those mortars. God damn, we might survive this after all. You guys have round shot and focus on the general's bodyguard. I can, I can totally accept some artillery friendly fire. These men push. Oh, that was a sporty one. My lone howard, so it's engaging. Switch to round shot, engage the general bodyguard. I'm not convinced the, this howard has done anything useful yet. It's still quick climbing over here. Even though that's not what I've ordered it to do. push up, engage the general's bodyguard in musketry, and then that will be the end of the, ba the battle. So the 55th and the 56th, they're going to pour fire into the enemy general, there he goes. you. My god, that, that was a very close run thing. It, it, it was a, at a heavy cost, but we pushed them back. We pushed them back. No, do not intercept. Didio's, or well, the former, Didio's former army, they need a, 
Replenishment. It's a big concentration on Berra. So I think the strategy around Berra is to push in other sectors and force them to have to commit troops to defend other areas. So hopefully you guys can leave without being intercepted. Good. Full stack. Your Majesty. Let's combine men together. Oh, you're just line. Okay, let's combine gun teams together if we can. And combine colonial line infantry units together. Create some very elite units. We can't combine those together. Forward, march. Uh, Ready, yeah, it's probably a good idea to take our strongest Ready. troops, Forward. put them into Katak as a garrison, recruit another force, Valentin Ambler. And then this force can keep attacking or keep reinforcing. You guys Ready. get into Calcutta. And start to uh, build troops in the event that uh, they decide to actually swing east. They're probably going to break all these mines, and that's okay. Yes, my lord. This army can intercept and auto resolve both those fights. And push back over the river. Let's attack the modern university. You push up to here, you push up and hit. Push up and start threatening Ak Akbarabad as well. Yes. These armies that are still not replenished, you can go siege Ahmedabad. See if we can demand the surrender. We cannot Settlement under siege. Sir. Your orders. push you east. Make ready. March. This force under Madnagar is replenishing. Trade route raided, yes. Agent executed. Sad face. Fleet arrives. Hurrah! Okay, this force is going to sail to the north. Hit Nerun. She must demand the surrender of the city. You men can live in freedom. With the Louisiana Empire. Pleasure Gardens, Steam Power Cough Mill. Let's destroy the Pleasure Gardens. Let's push this spy up to Lahore. Looking and listening. Wudaipur is undefended. So is Eugene. These guys likely can't move up. Could exempt them from tax, but yes, sir. I don't wanna. Let's push these militia up to try and see if we can. Minus two, good stuff. Upgrade. Jesuit College. I suppose we can put you guys in there just to make sure. This small force, you can push up and get ready to attack the city. Keep our road upgrades going. Push. Alphonse Barrett, north of the Troops. river. Your Majesty. Forward. Combine troops. Good stuff. Like I said, there's a lot of men near Berra, so I think it's probably a good idea to go and push in this area to try and force some of these troops to spread out. Or at least go into march in directions where we can intercept them one at a time. Catholic missionary in Ceylon. Too bad we can't actually get you. Well, I can probably do this. Putting to sea. Come about. So there's probably no... Okay, I suppose you can probably start in the south and just work your way north when it comes to converting people. We're not winning against this agent here. 
didn't, didn't get him. But. Heroic death. Diderot Vauban. Yeah, we know. This force could probably push south. But instead, what I'm going to do. Ooh, mountain troops. Let's recruit some of those. Recruit some line. I'm not interested in. Ooh, okay. These guys might attempt to drive across the river. So let's do raiding here. So they can't cross over to Copenhagen, but even so, let's pick up some men to uh, replenish, or to well, not to replenish, but to uh, defend the city. Uh, this force here at Schleswig, Felix Starock. You. Can probably go south and hit Hanover. They are trapped. Austrian-Hungarian Gogedniezny riflemen. They look pretty neat. That's a lot of action. So you're at war with France as well, and it's like, oh, if only we weren't, I could have actually a friendly front to land in. So let's keep an eye on these guys. See if they send troops from east to deal with our deployment. Stuff is being recruited everywhere, like mad. Let's check India to make sure we've not got any untaxed cities. Berar is now 100% Catholic. Let's send you up to Santa Fe, because Santa Fe... Actually, they are. Looks like we've already done Santa Fe. Send you up to Yankton. This army is already going to... It's continuing its push up towards Yankton. Path blocked. We're not going to win in the conversion battle, it would seem. Let's put Stockholm under siege. But this is a, a, quite a big series of fights that we can we can pick from. We've got the fight at Ahmedabad. We've got the fight in Hanover, and we've got the fight in Stockholm. So because I've been fighting in India mostly in this episode, I'm going to continue that fight and just quickly deal with this force. And then in the next episode, it can be more Eurocentric. Um, it makes the, the parts a bit more coherent, I think. Yeah, we need to keep pushing. It would be tempting to take Stockholm and try and make peace with Sweden. It will very much be a temporary peace. They're not going to let us get away with capturing their capital but there's a chance that we may have to start turning significant amounts of troops towards the uh the austrian front come on theodore Only, only the one how quick climbing howitzer, but again, it's not really needed. Let's deploy all these guys over on the flank. I mean, I'm going to push immediately. I'm not going to wait because their garrison is so small. Group of cavalry, cool. I mean, their infantry is coming from a dodgy position, so I could. Send my cavalry. All armed populace. They've got some mortars, but they've not got enough to actually stop us. Push our cavalry over to intercept these guys. We don't want dervishes in the fort. That would just be frustrating. Creep forward, native warrior auxiliary. You can, if you can stay hidden, which they are. more 
mortars have begun firing. The only cure for that is to really spread out your axis of advance. So we're going to have three waiting to push. Everyone else has their orders. If my cavalry is going to push up there, let's just push my infantry up on this flank. Yeah, the dervishes are very upset, and so are the bowmen. You guys can take secure the gatehouse. That'd be great. Bowmen are routing, which is nice. Just try to shatter them to make sure they don't come back. Good. I'll go hit the dervishes. Lots of mortar fire. bit careful because lots of my men are actually uh, they are depleted so these men are actually hidden perfect no artillery fire for them until of course in a moment when we secure the gatehouse however long that'll be some of my skirmishes up on the hill, up on one of the walls, while my infantry waits patiently for their turn. Dervishes are steady, and this could be a bit of a recipe for disaster with some artillery fire. As our men pour through the gates into the fort. That's where you guys are going to hit the armed populace. Go! Friendly by quick climb! Dangerous quick climb. Go for the cavalry. It worked though, damn it. Let's push up. To get within their effective range. Do you have cavalry? Screw the cavalry. Charge! These men, they're too dangerous to be left alive. run off the wall. Dervishes are finally routed. Lasted a long time. Not long enough. So here comes our Native American auxiliary. They are quote unquote having a pop. Okay, you guys stay on the walls. All these mortar crews and gun crews, they can't stand up to our infantry very well. This unit. Hunker down and begin firing towards the, uh, the cavalry. Yeah, the cavalry's coming in, looks like we've taken all of the gates. Which 
hard for cavalry into the rear of the armed populace at the gate. But ultimately, I think this is a pretty solid victory. The second regiment of colonial line should engage the Zamandari horsemen. They're getting some good kills on our colonial line, chiefly because they are bugged. There are units, there are guys stuck down here who seemingly. Yeah, they're definitely just stuck. Okay, let's turn off my answers. Charging the armed populace at the gate. Fourteen more seconds until the enemy has fallen. But these guys they're not going to go they're not going to do very well. Broken, broken. This armed populace is still here, but the timer has completed. We've secured the fort, and the territory is ours. And this is a pretty major city that we've taken here. It's surprising it was, it was so poorly garrisoned, but there we are. So let's spend money repairing all this stuff. Get another round of replenishment. Upgrade the fort. Actually, let's send a cavalry unit over here to Surat to boot the ship out to fight our navy. So the cavalry can return to base, we can upgrade it to a global trading company, sail a fifth rate into Port Bandar. Port, Port, Port Bandar. These guys can repair. As can this fifth rate. You've got good roads, you've got good roads. Pleasure gardens that you do not need. Because we're going to replace it with a religious building. Cool. But then, hopping up to Europe, the next fight is likely to be... The assault on the garrison here at Stockholm. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of the Swedish capital. Cheers everyone.